Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a very interesting video. Today we're going to be doing a tarot reading, a pick a card, all in UV. So I actually have a UV light on right now. So this is just going to be a tester. So if you guys like it, I'm going to do more of these. So this is going to be a message, an important message that the universe needs to give you. So we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So please choose your group and let's get started. So I also have some crystals for you guys. So if you prefer to choose your crystals, I'm gonna put the crystals on now. So you may not be able to see the crystals very well, but it's up to you if you guys prefer to choose with crystals or with the um, glow sticks. So let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So I'm going to live shuffle all of the groups. So. Basically, it will be easier for you guys to see and things like that. So first card we have out is a normal, just a normal crystal card here. This is Aragonite. So with Aragonite, it says when to use it, when it's time to retreat to your shell or step out of it. If you want to be square with the outside world, first you've got to get square with your inside world. Call on Aragonite to help set a healthy, sustainable balance. So Aragonite is a really like bold crystal. It's it's about massive, massive change. So for you guys, you guys are gonna get absolute a massive amount of change from from basically just from watching this reading. There's gonna be a massive amount of change is gonna to come towards you. It's gonna be so amazing. And I feel like you're going to get some drastic change. I feel like you're not gonna expect this coming. I feel like it's just gonna be very, very random. And I think you're gonna be very surprised at what this is. So let's get a little bit more detail on that. So let's get you a tarot card. I have the major arcana here. I haven't got all of the tarot, but I have just the major arcana. So let's see. Oh, wow, tower. Oh my God, that's the first card that comes out is the tower. Holy crap, so that's amazing. So the tower is the first one. So let's see what else we have. Let's get another one. Let's go for this one. We have a strength. Okay, that's good. Let's get one more. Let's see, let's go for this one. Oh, the moon, beautiful. Okay, so massive amount of emotional change. I feel like you guys are getting a massive, massive shift within your emotions. I feel like you guys are really working on yourself and I feel like the self exploration that you guys are doing is really coming into play. Okay, I feel like you guys are really managing your power and I feel like your inner power is really, really coming out. I feel like it's, you're, you're really exploring the depths of your soul almost and I feel like, with the changes that's happening, I feel like you guys are really going to get into your power. I feel like it's going to be a massive amount of change coming for you. And I feel like the strength is really showing me that it may be a little bit difficult for you. I feel like it may be hard, but actually it's kind of the limitations that you put on your mind for yourself. Let's get you one more tarot card. Okay, let's shuffle. Let's see what else we have. Let's see what else we have. Oh, beautiful, the star, I love that. So with the star, I feel like this is definitely obviously about divine timing. This is about balance and patience. So for you guys, you could be feeling quite down at the moment, possibly in hermit mode, we have the hermit underneath here. So you guys could be feeling a little bit lackluster, feeling like you can't really process things at the moment. Just to know things are changing within you and you are gonna to start to feel really, really comfortable, okay? So with the star here, I feel like everything is happening for a reason, okay? Things are gonna be changing for you and things are gonna be shifting. You just gotta have faith that things are gonna change for you, okay? And the moon here is really showing me that you guys are going through a lot of emotional processing. So if you are feeling quite down, just know that things are changing for you. And it is, it is stressful, I know, but the star is showing me to have faith for you guys. Have faith and know that things will change for you and that you are gonna get everything that you've wanted. I feel like it's gonna come from like a massive shift within you. So it could be inner change, it could be kind of um, health-wise, it could be you've gone through quite a bad health situation. Um, but I do feel like you're not going to expect this change to come. And Aragonite is all about kind of massive amount of change that you just really don't expect. So that is amazing. I feel like, to be specific, I feel like it's more to do with your mental health. But I feel like obviously mental health can be the start of basically anything. You know, it can be it can be you changing your, um, your self-worth, being having more self-worth for yourself, kind of focusing on your journey and then that really shifting. I do feel like you may even meet a um, Cancerian from this as well. Okay, so let's get you some more Oracle cards. So let's put these, this one down here. 
Okay, so I made some oracle cards, just kind of little random messages. So let's see what wants to come out. First one is, love yourself first, beautiful. So this is amazing. This is really, really strong. This is very, very powerful. I feel like for you guys, it's definitely about your self-worth and how much you're giving to other people, okay? So I'm gonna put that guy there. Let's see, let's go for this one right underneath pink will uh, help you attract love so for you guys you could be wearing pink quite a lot recently and you're thinking why am i really attracted to the color pink um but also pink will help you attract love so if you are struggling with your love life pink is going to be really really good for you it's going to really help you to attract love and going to really help you to maintain a really good relationship i feel like it's if you are struggling with love and you want to attract more love i do feel like you are going to create much more abundance through love through the color pink okay i do feel that's going to be really really good for you so having like pink like couch cushions having pink dyeing your hair pink something like that i feel like also the fact that you're really attracted to the color pink is definitely a synchronicity and showing you that this is all coming in for you it's just coming in slowly it's just a synchronicity though guys look out for the color pink it's going to be very synchronistic for you and then we also have signs of significant animals. So for you guys, you could be seeing animals and they could be kind of popping up in your world. You could be seeing like a random ladybug or like a horse or something. And you're like, I have never seen like that animal before around where I live or anything like that. So I do feel like this is really significant. I do feel like there's a certain animal. So look up the animal that's of the significance and see what it means and just see kind of what else wants to come out um, and kind of, kind of whatever animal is coming out for you just really try and notice and see if it does if it does like come out a few more times because normally if it's about two or three times and that's definitely a synchronicity you know like the universe is like come on girl we got to get her this message okay so i have my little cauldron here which you might not be able to see but i'm gonna get some letters and a chakra for you guys so what chakra you're gonna be working on or what chakra for you to really focus on okay so we have we have the root chakra beautiful okay so obviously the root chakra is about abundance it's about you guys getting kind of physical things so there might be something physical that's really changing up for you this is that tower moment so for you guys it's really focusing yourself focusing on your root chakra and also just kind of grounding yourself you guys might need to meditate but also this is all about money coming in so money is going to be really really good for you and you could have been struggling with money recently so just to let you know that things will change in that area so let's get you some letters okay so we have, I've not popped out the little middle bit for these ones yet. So we have Q, we have, do, do, do. where's this one? R? Yeah, this is R. These are stickers, so like there's little bits that are like stuck. Okay, we have Q, R, we have another R. I'm gonna leave him there. We have an X. Wow, these are, <laughs> sorry guys, these are all like really stuck together have an x so it could be an x that you might be thinking about recently we have the letter k and we also have let's get this one the letter m okay so those could be significant letters for you guys so that is your reading i really hope you enjoy it let me know if you like this style i know sometimes it can be a little bit awkward for me to kind of show the cards but I am going to try and get another better light for you guys so you can really sort of really lit up, okay? So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So we have a crystal here. So I'm going to read the crystal card. So the crystal for you guys is opal, which is really beautiful. So it says, when you have something that needs to get moving, a project, a relationship, an energetic block. So for you guys, you may be feeling really stuck. You may be feeling like, okay, nothing's happening for me. What's the friggin' point? Is there any friggin' point? I don't friggin' know. So for you guys, it's really kind of focusing on things that can change and knowing that I feel, I feel like there's just some sort of energy block that just needs to shift. So we're gonna see how we can shift this for you and it can be within anything. It can be within your emotions. It can be within a certain relationship. It can also just be in your love life. It could just be that you're feeling a little bit lackluster and things just are 
a bit of a struggle right now. So I do feel like there's something here that's going to shift for you. You just got to be patient. Okay. So let's put the crystal card here. So let's get you some tarot. I only have the major arcana here, but I'm going to see what wants to come out. So let's go. Let's shuffle these around. They're kind of hard to shuffle, but <laughs> give it a go. Okay, I want this one. Okay, so very much similar to group number one. That's the first card that group number one had. So I love that. Let's see what else. Let's go with this one. Beautiful Wheel of Fortune. I love that. Justice. We have the sun. Let's pull one more. We have temperance. Beautiful. Okay, so massive amount of change for you guys. We do have the hangman underneath. So essentially you guys have been waiting a little bit too much to a little bit longer than what you thought you wanted to, okay? So I do feel like there is something massively changing. So essentially there's one brand new shift that's happening for you guys, a really big shift where you're gonna see something, I'm hearing exped exponentially change within your, within your career. And I do feel like this is to do with your life in general. So this could be to do with, I feel like this is actually leading you to love and career. So for you guys who are single, I do feel like you're gonna manifest a relationship that's really, really wholesome and it's really bright. And I feel like this is also could be a friendship as well that you're manifesting that it's just really, really good for you. And Temperance is showing me that because you guys have been working on your emotions, you've been working on really balancing yourself out, there's gonna be a part of you where you can really embrace change and you're able to really adapt to things happening. And Temperance is showing me that it's gonna be some guardian angels guiding you to your love life and to your person. So if you are single, this is a sign that basically things are gonna start changing for you. And you're gonna start seeing some really big changes happening, okay? Okay, so let's have a look and see what else we have. So let's have a look at the Oracle cards. So let's see, okay, let's get some Oracle cards. So let's shuffle these around. Do -de -do -de -do, do -de -do. Okay, I want this one. They are thinking about you. So for you guys, there could be somebody you are on a break from. It could be a crush that you really, really like. This is also showing me that possibly a friendship that you've stopped and they've kind of like just suddenly come back to you. So I do feel like there, there is somebody thinking about you. So there may be like a message coming in from somebody. And I do feel like that's the tower. It could be something, it could even be just somebody you've never even met before. And it could be that you're single and you're wanting um, a partner to come in. It could literally be somebody who's been watching you for a long time and then now coming forward. Okay, so we also have love yourself first, which is beautiful. So very much to do with you guys really putting yourself first. And you've really been kind of doing the work, guys. I feel like I have no doubt about that at all. I feel like you guys have really been putting in the work. I feel like you've really been acknowledging when there's emotions that need to come out. And I feel like you're being very, very mature and you're gonna manifest relationships like that. Even if you're already in a relationship, I mean like friendships as well can be various different different ones. So, so one of the signs for you guys is music and songs. So for you guys, you could be getting like a repeating song that keeps coming in your mind. It could be that, basically you see this song and you hear it like on Instagram or somebody starts singing it and you're like, I was just singing that song in my head. You know, like I do feel like there's signs and synchronicities that are gonna lead you to where you wanna go. And underneath we have, oops, underneath we have pink will attract love. So essentially this is all about kind of having rose quartz in your life and having rose quartz like help you. Rose quartz is also really good for sleep. So if you guys have been struggling with sleep, this will really help you. But I feel like with the pink, this is very much to do with it kind of helping you to open your heart. And I feel like you guys have really been opening your heart. So you could be wearing a lot of pink recently and thinking, why am I suddenly attracted to pink? But also we do have a pink bracelet here. So you guys may be really attracted to the color pink. Um, yeah, so that is what I'm feeling for that. So let's get you a chakra and let's see what chakra you're working on. Oops, that's a bit wonky. Boop. Okay, so I have my little cauldron here. Sorry if you guys can't really see it. Um, okay, so let's get you a chakra first. So the chakra's the little yellow bits. I want this one. Let's say and get two. So let's have that one and let's have this one. Okay, so the chakras that you guys are working on at the moment are the solar plexus. I'm gonna try and focus that in the camera. Solar plexus. And we also have 
the root chakra beautiful very similar to grid number one so if you guys are drawn to grid number one that's for you as well so okay so that's really really good so essentially the solar plexus is all about your confidence it's all about how you interact in the world it's all about how you assert yourself and it's all about your wants and needs so you could have like a really deep desire to kind of move forward towards something and especially it could be like speaking your truth because there could be with your sacred chakra there could be a part of you that really wants to speak your truth but the other part of you is like i don't know what to do i don't know if i should do this so I really feel like you guys are changing this up and you guys are really kind of shifting your perspective around your relationships. And I feel like you're really becoming grounded and because you're becoming grounded, you're really able to present yourself in relationships really, really well. And you're able to be very, very present and really listen to people when people need help or, you know, when when people are kind of giving you their point of view, you're really able to, to listen and, and help and kind of really tap in. Okay, I'm also getting that song that's called Tap In, which is like a really dodgy dirty song <laughs> so we have some letters here so if you guys can't really see them there's like i need to pop out the little the little holes so we have the letter b sorry if you guys can't really see that we have q like three times so q could be very significant for you guys so we have q o and we also have another q and we also have r so this is this kind of reminds me of halloween the fact we have we nearly have boo so I do feel like you could have something significant happening around Halloween. It could be like a, you could be celebrating it with people, like really kind of coming together. I want to pick another letter for you. We have M and we also have K. Beautiful. So I think that's everything. So that's your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below along with my crystal shop. Also, if you like this, this type of reading, let me know. I really enjoyed doing it. And I also am going to bring in another light because this light is a bit awkward to kind of like, you know, show you the stuff on, and the cards and things. So I do want to get a different light. So hopefully you'll be able to see a bit better. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the cute little blue bracelet. So that's amazing. So with the blue, you guys could be working on your throat chakra, chakra, <laughs> chakra, and really bringing in those beautiful vibes. So I do feel like you guys could be working on your singing. You could be really kind of expressing yourself and it could also be just really telling people the truth. It could be that maybe before things have been really rough with conversations and now you're really kind of making sure that everything you say comes across really well. So we're going to start off with the crystal cards. So this card is Kunzite. So this is actually a really bright pink color. So obviously you can't see it in the UV, but this is Kunzite, beautiful crystal. This is actually through the heart chakra. So that's really, really good. I love Kunzite. So it says, call on Kunzai after a major breakup or disappointment or when you're beating yourself up about something. You don't need permission to be here. You belong. If you forget that, pause, tap into Kunzai's pink prismatic vibration and let love rule. Open your love channel. So very much to do with your love life. I do feel like your relationships are changing. And I do feel like because of the blue, I do feel like you're changing the way you are asserting yourself in relationships. All relationships. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be friendships family, work, all those sort of relationships. Even with animals, you could be becoming more kind of like wanting to have like a, your own animal, wanting to kind of have responsibility over an animal, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I do feel like you guys are really coming into a beautiful energy and it's just it's just very, very positive. I feel like your heart chakra is really opening and I feel like because this is happening, I do feel like there is love coming in. So if you guys, you could have gone through a major breakup or some sort of really uncomfortable situation recently, and I'm giving you all my love and blessings if you are going through that. But I do feel like with the fact we have Kunzai, this is a really beautiful open-hearted crystal. So I feel like whatever ha has happened or has happened in the past, even if it was a long time ago, it's led you to where you are now. So be grateful and happy where you are now. And just remember to look at all the things that you have done and how amazing you are and how far you've come, okay? So let's have a look at your tarot. I have the Major Arcana here. So we're going to have a look and see what one wants to come out. Let's do the top one. Okay, so the first one we have out is the Hierophant, beautiful. So the Hierophant is very much about kind of standing your ground and just being your own person and not having to like listen to anyone else's rules, essentially. So that is what I'm feeling for you guys. I feel like you're really standing in your power. You're not letting anyone, I'm hearing let love rule. Wasn't that what that card said? I'm not sure, let me check. 
let love rule yes that's what it says on the card so i do feel like there's kind of like making sure your heart is in front you know heart is kind of leading we have justice so we have two really big kind of energies here two really big energies of to do with people so with the justice and the hierophant these are two really major energies this is kind of like a power couple as well so i do feel like all parts of you are really being triggered right now and it has it could be causing you to go into hermit mode we do have the hermit here but i do feel like it's actually bringing you to a solid state i'm hearing a solid state drive some of you guys could be really into computers um we do have the sun here as well so very much about you kind of finding your your niche finding your zone i just feel like there's a massive amount of change happening for you guys i feel like you're going to get a massive amount of change to do with your love life i feel like the um i feel like people are more drawn to you because you have this newfound confidence and i feel like you're now letting people kind of not rule you and you're the one kind of who wants to be in the front and let yourself be seen and i think because of that you're allowing yourself to have blessings and blessings are coming towards you and you're feeling much more open to blessings so also with the justice and the hierophant you're kind of getting what you want and i feel like you've waited so 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 freaking long to get what you want and it has been really difficult for you so i do feel like the more time you take to just chill and relax and really focus on yourself i think that's what's really going to help you get to where you want to go and the sun is showing me that after you've gone through this retreating energy when you come out it's going to be so much more bolder and more amazing than you could ever imagine so this could also be pertaining to relationship this could also be pertaining to um some sort of career endeavor but i do feel like this is more to do with emotional and also love life i feel like this is a major change within your within your energy so i feel like that is really really important especially going inward if you guys need to take a break from work and you can definitely do that i feel that will really help you okay so let's get you an oracle card let's see let's see let's see let's see i want this one look for the signs beautiful so this is could be to do pertain to a relationship it could be look for the signs to know if this is the right person for you it could be also that you are getting a lot of signs and synchronicities recently i'm hearing in tv shows because that could be like a sign for you guys i'm hearing in the um, tv show friends we have love yourself first this card wants to come out a lot <laughs> so i love that so with look for the signs this is also I feel like for some of you guys, you could be manifesting a certain message that you've really wanted. So it could be like a, a love message. It could be something like that. So I feel like it's definitely a massive shift within your energy. And I feel like with love yourself first, you are really putting yourself first and you are really kind of making sure that your needs are met. And I think it's really manifesting a good relationship. Yeah, we also have take a break as well. So definitely take that nap that you've wanted to do for a long time, you know, take a break from work, give yourself a vacation, or literally just give yourself an hour, half an hour to just chill and watch TV and not think about work. I feel like for those of you who are multitaskers, who are th who think a lot, and your, your brain goes at like 50 miles an hour, make sure to just take a break and that will really help you. So we also have music and songs. So you could be getting some really big signs and synchronicities from music and songs. And I do feel like look for the signs is a really important message. For some reason, I just feel like you are going to get what you want. You just got to be patient with yourself and know that things will change you and things are coming. Okay. So let's have a look at your chakra. So I have a little cauldron here. You might not be able to see it, but there's little chakras in here uh, on the little yellow piece of paper. So we're going to see what chakra you're working on. I am feeling that you guys are working on your heart chakra for the main point. So let's see what wants to come out. I can't get it open. Your third eye. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you're really working on your spirituality, connecting to your third eye. I feel like you're learning to trust yourself as well. You're learning to trust your intuition. And I feel like you're really learning to trust the universe as well. You're learning to trust kind of messages that want to come in. That's what I'm feeling for the signs. I feel like look for the signs is kind of like listen to your intuition as well and understand that those signs are for you, not for anyone else. Oh, okay, we have sacral. So very creative energy, very sexual energy. So for you guys, you could be manifesting somebody who has very big creative energy. You could be manifesting some really beautiful creative ideas. I do feel like there's some awakening that you're having around your creativity. I feel like you're going to get massive amounts of creativity coming in. Okay, so this is not working. <laughs> so we have the letter W, we have another W, we have the letter Q. Okay, let's see what other chakra we have. 
we have the heart, beautiful. Yeah, I was really focusing on the heart. So really coming into stability, manifesting, I'm hearing manifesting your man. So for those of you who want a man, I'm really manifest, feel like you're manifesting that. The letter T, oops, the letter T, let's get one more. And we have the letter R, beautiful. So they're saying to pull a zodiac sign. They haven't done this for any other groups, but I'm gonna pull you guys a zodiac sign. I have them right at the bottom. So let's pull you a zodiac sign. Okay, we have Pisces, beautiful. So you guys might not be able to see this. <laughs> so it's gonna be really hard to show you, but I can try. So let me put my bracelet with it as well. See if you guys can see it. Yeah, Pisces. Ooh. Okay, you have Pisces. Let's pull you a couple more. Okay, I don't know if I can grab these with my nails. Okay, let's get one more. What is this? This is Sagittarius, beautiful. So manifesting travel somebody who's really open for travel as well but also you're coming into a really beautiful energy of like freedom so you're letting yourself be heard letting yourself be seen okay which is really really beautiful so that's beautiful so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like a private reading all my information is down below thank you so much for being here if you would like to uh, let me know if you like this style of reading i am going to i want to do more like this but i'm going to get a brighter light so you guys can really see stuff as well um, but thank you so much for being here if you would like to check out my crystal shop that is also down below thank you so much for being here and i'll speak to you soon bye hello group number four thank you so much for being here let's get started with your reading so you guys chose the green bracelet so green is all about the heart chakra. So you guys are really working on your heart chakra. So the first card we have out is Labradorite. Beautiful. So it says, when you're lost, when you've lost your faith in magic, the world is a weird, wonderful, whimsical, watery rock hurtling through space and you're on it. And that makes you special. Gaze into Labradorite and delight in that. Okay, so for you guys, I feel like you're focusing on the negatives. I feel like your energy is quite narrow at the moment. I feel like you're really focusing kind of inwards and not really focusing on what you can really manifest. So I do feel like you need to acknowledge what you've been through and how far you've come and how amazing you are. And I feel like you really need to kind of come into that positive energy. And it might be literally kind of bit going out in nature and getting some new perspective because sometimes when we're in the house too much it can really affect our energy so I do feel like going out in nature is really important for you if you can um, but also I feel like being around animals will really serve you if you can do that too. I definitely feel like there's an energy of kind of feeling down and feeling confused so just know that things will shift for you guys things are changing and even though it feels kind of scary out there just know that it's all for a bigger purpose and know that we are coming into a much bigger energy and this is we're going we're going much further than where we've ever been you know it's not going to be the same as where it was but change is good change is good and it's kind of like remembering that the change that's happening is really going to be important for us and it's going to really help us to be our authentic selves okay and that's what's happening for you guys so from hearing for some of you guys you guys might be wanting to um this is a very strange message to say but I feel like some of you guys, you could be wanting to leave your partner. So I do feel like if you are thinking about it and it's something that you've been thinking about for a while, then remember to have patience with yourself and to let go of any negativity you feel in you and see if it's the right decision. Okay, so we have temperance. So very much about patience and really working on your own energy. And temperance is all about kind of how you feel about yourself. And it's kind of like just waiting and patiently kind of deciding things. So the next card we have out is the death card. Beautiful. So death of the ego, I feel like it's happening for you. I feel like there's a massive death process happening for you guys. And I feel like you're really changing up the way you see yourself. So there's definitely energy of connecting to your crown chakra as well and meditating and things kind of coming in quicker. And I do feel like with justice, you are going to manifest the things that you've wanted. You've, you've waited so long and I'm hearing you've waited long enough. So it's definitely coming in for you guys. Okay, last one is the lovers. You guys are the first group to have the lovers. I was waiting for whoever had the lovers. So group number four, you have the lovers. So definitely a romantic relationship coming in for you guys. If you guys are already with somebody, I do feel like there is definitely a new connection coming in. And I did get the message about some of you guys breaking up. So I do feel like 
that is really important. It's kind of like old endings, like things just really changing. So if you guys can see something floating around, it's just my microphone. So uh, it's not a ghost, it's not an orb. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's definitely a massive shift happening. And I feel like you guys should be really proud of yourself and what you've been through, because this is not easy, you know, especially if you guys, I'm hearing you guys might be helping somebody with a breakup as well. If they're going through something really tough, I feel like you guys are really embracing kind of this change and helping them go through this change. There's definitely a death of the ego, a death of the old self. So it might be you're kind of coming away from who you always knew, which is yourself, like the part of you you always knew. And now it's time for you to actually manifest that partnership that you've been wanting for so freaking long. Okay, so let's have a look at your oracle cards and let's see what wants to come out. So let's start off with this one. Okay, signs. So one sign for you guys could be repeating numbers. It could be 111, 222, 3434, 555, something like that. Okay, so this is going to be a really big indication of things changing, things shifting for you. Okay, and I do feel like for you to look out for that when you're around a certain person, that could be a really big indicator. So you also have pink will help you attract love, which is beautiful. Lots of love for this group. And we also have love is coming in for you. Perfect. So you guys are definitely manifesting a relationship. You're the, probably the first group in this reading to have mainly love energy. So I do feel like you guys have really been working on yourself. And I feel like for those of you who aren't going for a breakup or have been single for a very long time, it's time for you to really embrace this energy. And embrace being single, you know, you can do anything you want when you're single and there's no kind of ties. But also when you are in a relationship that's right for you, it won't feel strenuous. It won't feel like you can, you have to kind of monitor where you're going, what you're doing. That's not a relationship, guys. I feel like you're going to manifest somebody who really loves you, who really finds you attractive, who wants the best for you. And you both have something in common as well. I feel like you guys are like nerds. <laughs> I'm hearing some of you guys like really like Marvel or Doctor Who or Doctor Strange, something like that. You guys are really both, you both have something in common. So even if you don't class yourself as a nerd, you both have like something that you, in common that you really love. Yeah, and we also have love yourself first. So you guys have really been attracted in love because you've been loving yourself first. That's what I love that these, fact that these two are right close to each other, which is really, really good. It's a really big indicator that things are happening and changing for you. And another sign for you guys could be significant animals. So it could be a certain animal that really kind of is a big indicator for you. I'm also picking up on the sign of Venus where it has like the circle, the line, and then the little line. So I feel like you guys are really manifesting love and just abundance and just feeling really happy within yourself. I feel like you're really letting yourself be as you are and not judging yourself. And whenever somebody's energy doesn't feel good, you're, you're much better at discerning whether that energy is best for you because you now have more love for yourself and more patience as well, which is really, really good. And I'm very proud of you guys. Well done. You give yourself a pat on the back, you know, and look how far you've come. You know, don't just think, oh, this is just it. You know, look how far you've come and look how amazing you are. Okay, so I have some chakras in here and also some letters. So I'm gonna pick one out. So let's see what chakra we have. All right, so the main chakra for you guys is the heart. Wow, you guys have such a sick, ow. ow. <laughs> You guys, are, oh my god, that really hurt. You guys have such a synchronistic reading. You have the heart number four. So this is the fourth chakra. This is all about you guys coming into a mo most beautiful energy. And you guys have the number four. You guys are so stable. Like you guys have really been thinking, am I ever going to meet someone? Is it ever going to happen for me? Yes, queen, it is. Queen, as I pull out the letter Q, we love that. Okay, so let's see what else we have. I'm not looking at the the uh, cauldron so I can't see what I'm putting okay I've got another chakra here oh the root chakra beautiful so really very much about you kind of manifesting physical things and feeling just really good in yourself which is so good we have the letter W okay we have the letter N we have the letter M so if you guys can't really see it very well you have O and you have another Q so let me pull you guys a zodiac sign. I did this kind of when I feel kind of drawn to. So I'm sorry for group number one and two that I haven't done this for. Okay, so let me get one of my bracelets off so you guys can see. This is Sagittarius, which is so funny because I'm pretty sure group number three had Sagittarius as well. So somebody coming in who's really, really open, very abundant energy, somebody who really wants to give you all the love in the world really appreciates you and just really wants to give to you. Okay, so you have Sag. Let's try and get you one more. We have Taurus, beautiful. 
somebody who's really stable and that may be why you guys chose number four because you're kind of looking for that stability and that stability is coming in from somebody else as well somebody who really wants to give to you and give you love okay so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for being here if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below all my crystal shop is down below and if you would like to see another uh, reading like this then please let me know if you liked it i am going to bring in some more uv lights so hopefully it'll be, be a bit more brighter so you can see more um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.